Hey there, I'm RVA Hiker Girl, and today I'm out in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I'm at the Ragged Mountain Nature Area, and basically it is a huge reservoir for the city of Charlottesville, and it's 970 acres um, of land here, so um, big park. Um, anyway, just in the parking lot, um, there is no one else here except for myself. Um, one map I have says that this is going to be a 6.1 mile loop around the reservoir, but the map that's posted here um, actually says 7 miles. So anyway, I'm going to jump on and, and see how, how many miles it actually is. And um, I know some of the reviews are saying that it's really easy to get lost here. So between all of my maps, I'm hoping that that's not the case. All right, I'm going to get started. This is the start of the trail. And it's pretty much going uphill right from the start. So there is a little over a thousand feet in elevation gain for this hike today. And I do believe right from the start, um, you get a lot of it because it is uphill. And within the first 30 seconds, this trail has you breathing hard. So be prepared to stretch and warm up in the parking lot, unlike what I didn't do, because I didn't know about a tenth of the mile into the trail you get to a v or a fork in the road so you can go to the right or to the left so clockwise or counterclockwise so after reading the reviews a majority of the people say say not to start going to the right but to go to the left going clockwise and that the signage on the trail is much better um, going that direction. So I'm gonna opt for what the people who have hiked this trail um, have recommended. So already we get an awesome view. Is that beautiful? So far a half a mile in and no issues with knowing where the trail is.
those. There's this really cool wood carving on the front. It's two owls. But then up here right on to this side. There's another owl. Really cool. This is where a lot of people say they get lost or get turned around. So we're right after mile marker five and there's an upper loop and lakefront loop. So the six to seven mile loop around the lake is called the lakefront loop. So if we want to head back, we would go to the right. If you want to go further and catch back up with the lakefront loop, then do the upper loop. So the upper loop, would, you would go that way, but the lakefront loop, you would go this way. So we're going this way to complete that loop. So um, again, that's what some of their reviews were saying is that it was easy to get lost. But honestly, I think if you're just really paying attention to these signs and you're going clockwise. I went clockwise. I, I don't know how the signs would be counterclockwise, but going this way, I've had no issues. So at five and a half miles in, this can be a little confusing because you get to a fork in the road. So you have a trail that goes up there, and you have a trail that goes that way. So this says Lakefront Loop. Well, that's for the people who are coming from the counterclockwise direction. So we don't want to go to the right because that's where that upper trail loop is feeding back into the Lakefront Loop. So we don't want to go to the right. I'm sorry, we don't want to go to the left. We want to go to the right to get us back to the parking lot. So I do see how the signage is confusing right there. And then the way the signage is halfway through changes. It's all wooden kind of signage and then it switches to those kind of signs. So I can see how if you're not used to navigating, how it can be confusing. Just to show you how clear the water is here. Hey guys, I was just taking a quick water break um, on the trail. I have about um, a half a mile left to um, finish up. Um, to the upper parking lot. There are two parking lots here um, and I'm at the lower parking lot right now. So from the upper parking lot, it will definitely be about seven miles from the lower parking lot, maybe about six and a half or so um, miles for this trail. Um, there have been mile, mar mile markers all along the way, um, which are great. Um, at mile five, five and a half and six, there are forks in the road and I see where the reviews say people get confused um, on um, which direction um, to go. So basically, if you stay on the trail closest to the lake and not veer off, because if you stay closest to the lake this way, these other trails that veer off this way just add on more miles and like extra little loops kind of like around the lake. Um, but between the Charlottesville um, Parks and Rec app, which has an interactive map and GPS for this park, as well as the All Trails map. It really wasn't too bad. Um, All Trails will scare you because it keeps saying, I've probably gotten at least 
um, half a dozen times where it says I've gotten off the route and that kind of freaks you out because you're like am I going the right way or not but um, yeah you are it's just I think some of those routes are kind of old routes and all trails so um, anyway all right well thank you guys I hope this helped you and gosh it's really sticking up um, I hope this helps you guys with your research um, for this park and this trail um, when I was personally researching it on YouTube there wasn't a lot of um, videos not anything about the hiking whatsoever um, so hopefully this will provide some um, much needed information for people doing some research and also hey be sure to subscribe down in this corner over here there's a little button and um, I always have lots of different hikes from here in Charlottesville out towards the mountains in Virginia to the beach to the eastern shore in Richmond and everywhere in between um, I video my hikes to try to help people feel more comfortable with where they're going and what to expect and um, also I do all kinds of videos when it comes to um, what to take with you backpacking um, what I carry for hiker food and that sort of thing so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to hit that like button down there if you like this uh, video and it helped you out. All right, until next time, see you next time on another trail.